G'day folks, Rod Moore here from Selling Art Online. Welcome back to the uh, second in my video log series on how to sell your art online. Now, in the first video, I talked a little bit about this idea of moving from the old model of the gallery system and moving into the new world, which is all about you becoming an art entrepreneur. So what I wanna do in this video is just talk to you about why right now it's the greatest time in history to be an artist. So I don't say that lightly, I say it because I really passionately believe it, that if you're an artist today and you wanna make an income or you know earn your full-time living or even a part-time income out of your art, then there's never been a better time and opportunity to do that. Now, I was reading a book um, about the Impressionist artists in, in France in the late 1800s about how Monet, when his sales were low and he, um, you know, he needed income, he needed to make money to su support his lifestyle and his family. He literally got on a train and went to Paris with paintings tucked under his arm and probably had a few helpers come with him, carrying paintings and going door to door to the high society of uh, and, and the wealthy around Paris and, and knocking on the door and saying, you know, here's my painting. Well, you know, that would have been a tough slog, you know, as Monet was establishing his reputation and career. Obviously, towards the end of his life, he didn't need to do that. But that's what he was doing, you know. And uh, artists have, you know, traditionally really struggled to reach out and find a marketplace unless you could get good gallery representation or an agent or someone like that or a patron to support you. But today, right, as an artist in 2017, there is more opportunity and more tools available than ever before. It is the greatest time ever to be an artist. And I really passionately believe that. Having said that, let me just give you the downside, right? There's all these different tools and things available for you and I as an artist to reach out and attract an audience of people who are interested in our art, if you know what you're doing and how to do it. So on the one hand, great opportunity, but on the other hand, there's a ton of artists now, right? There's more artists than ever before, and, and they're more visible because of the same technology. Um, 30,000 plus students go through art school in the US alone each year and graduate. And the baby boomer generation, you know, I, I'm not a baby boomer, I fall just out of the baby boomer category, but you know, I've come to art later in life. I started painting when I was 42, back in you know, 2012, I think it was, or 2010 when I started. Uh, so I've come later in life and there's this you know, growth in the number of people my age and above, and especially in their 50s, 60s, 70s, who have become artists as well. Now, a lot of people finishing their careers and migrating into art careers. And uh, there's a lot more artists out there than ever before. And, and combine that with, you know, it's, there's a lot of uh, low cost um, productions, reproductions of art. Um, there's factories in China churning out reproductions of great works. And uh, you can buy art for next to nothing, right? So why would somebody pay you $500 for a piece of art or $1,000? if they can get a, a pretty good quality um, piece of art from an art factory for 10 bucks, right? You gotta think about that. Now I've been to these art factories and I can tell you they churn out, I've actually got a couple of pieces on the wall from an art factory where, when I visited in China and uh, they're pretty good, right? Um, but they're cheap because the labor, you know, the artist's cost is cheap. How do you and I compete against that? So on the one hand, amazing technology for you to be able to sell your art all around the world on the other hand, a lot more competition, okay? So let's look at how do you balance those two. Now, the thing I discovered is, yes, there is these amazing tools available, but most artists don't use them correctly. And when I look at my Facebook feed, I'm connected to thousands of artists on Facebook, and if you're not connected with me, then add me on Facebook, just look for Rod Moore. And um, what I see regularly in my feed is artists doing a painting, taking a photo, and posting it up on their profile. Then the smart ones, what they're doing is they're joining Facebook groups like, you know, Australian artists or American impressionists. They join all these different groups on Facebook and then they share that photo amongst all the groups. But let's think about this. Um, you know, I know one artist who does this regularly and he commented to me that, you know, I said, hey, how's that going? You know, you're selling any pieces of art. And his comment was, you know, I've got, I sold one piece last year. I've got about four or 500 paintings in the garage, right? Um, so it looks like a good idea on the surface. And what you find is that other artists see that and they go, oh, that's how I sell art. And they copy that. And all of a sudden you've got all these artists who are doing this one strategy, right? But does it work? 
That's the question. So what artists are basically doing is promoting their own art to other artists. And what happens is they get lots of likes and comments and other artists, oh, that's a great piece, like, you know, and they get comment, and that validation of feedback is important. Don't get me wrong, it feels good, doesn't necessarily result in sales because other artists are trying to sell their art to you, right? Now, let me make it very clear. Some artists do buy art. I buy originally piece, original pieces of art, not as much as I'd like to, but I do buy it. And some other artists do as well. But the vast majority of people in those uh, platforms on Facebook or wherever, why, you know, why are they there? They're there to sell their art as well. So it's a strategy where everyone's sort of butting heads and it's not the smartest thing. So yes, there's all these tools available, but most artists don't have a clear, concise blueprint, step by step on how to build an audience, attract an audience to them and lead those people to fall in love with you and their art and then want to go on and buy your art. And so that's what you need. It's the greatest time in history if you can work out how to use the tools available with greater effect and greater leverage. Most artists, what they'll do is they'll dabble in it, they'll get a Facebook account, they'll maybe do a video or two, and if they don't get instant results, they stop, okay? And so when I started out in 2012, I was doing the same thing, you know, I was put up a Facebook page or I did a video and I tried different things and I would stop, start, stop, start. You know, I'd, I'd do a few things and I'd not get a result, I'd get despondent and I'd stop. And then a month or two later, I'd do a few more things if only I'd known that all you need to do is just follow a blueprint step by step, get somebody to show you what that blueprint is, um, and be persistent and consistent in doing it, then the tools are amazingly incredible. So what sort of tools am I talking about? You need a website. And on that website, you need a big button next to every piece of art that you have there, which says, buy now, right? You need to be able to take payments and, and process payments on your own website. Why? Because people make spur of the moment decisions. If they can't buy it now, they click off and they think, oh, I'll come back to that in a week's time and buy it or contact the agent. But they forget, life changes, the emotion goes, and that spur of the, spur of the moment decision is gone forever, right? So if you don't have buy buttons next to all your art on your website, then you're going to miss sales. So you need a platform like that, a website with buy now buttons on it. And you need a body of work, obviously. Now, that goes without saying, I'll touch on that in other videos, but it goes without saying you need a cohesive body of work that appeals to a particular audience and you need your own unique voice. And then with that body of work and your own unique voice, you need to build a brand around what you're doing. So all of that goes without saying, if you want to be a successful career artist, that's obvious regardless of what platform you use to try and sell your art. Uh, but you need a website and the ability to be able to take payments for pieces of art if you want to sell art. Um, you then need ways of getting visibility amongst a niche market. So I paint Australian landscape paintings. There's very little point in me promoting those paintings to other artists, right? Apart from networking, building up friends in, of other artists and getting some validation and feedback and critiques, which is all important, but I'm not going to necessarily sell my art. What I need to do is go out and find people who love Australian landscape scenes. Bushwalkers, campers, four-wheel drivers, tourists, right? People who visit areas that I can paint who want a memento. They want to remember their, their time there, right? Or maybe they grew up in a small country town. You do a landscape that features some aspect of that small country town. They're going to buy that painting because it brings back childhood memories. So you've got to tap into that audience wherever they are. But first you need to know who is that audience for your art. The whole world's not your audience. You've got to narrow it down. You've got to niche down to a particular market that you're going to serve and develop art that that market will be attracted to. So, you know, things like Facebook and YouTube are absolutely critical. In fact, if, if I get asked, and often I do, I get asked, what are the most important tools for to start and run an entrepreneur, an art entrepreneur business, an artpreneur business? Um, how do I promote myself and attract an audience? Well, the only two tools that I would really focus in on right now, apart from your own website, is Facebook and video. And I'd base a lot of what I do around video. 
okay? Um, and I'll share why in, in other uh, video logs, why I think video is so important and how easy it is to produce video. But that's what I focus on, mastering those two. Now again, most artists, they'll put up a page on Facebook and they'll post a few pictures of their art and they'll get their family and friends to like it. And they've got 150 people liking their page and occasionally they post to it, but they don't make any sales and they assume it doesn't work. That's the wrong way of thinking. What we've got to do is get smarter. And this is why I say, even though there's more competition than ever before, for, you, know, you can use these tools to greater effect than the vast majority because most people don't master and dig into how to use Facebook or video or your website. Um, and as a result, they never get the results and they give up. So it's not that hard for you to get into the 5%, but it does take work. It takes getting the knowledge you need, you know, find a mentor, somebody who can lead you step by step down a blueprint. You need the knowledge, you need to implement it, and that takes work, and you need to be persistent and consistent with it until you get a refined system that works for you. If you do that, you can become a successful artpreneur and earn a full-time living out of it, whatever that means to you. There are artists right now who are earning multiple six figures online, and there are artists who are in the process of building a platform to enable them to get to that point. It's happening right now. Don't miss the boat, right? If you're an artist in 2017 when I'm recording this, you need to act now with a sense of urgency if, and only if, you're absolutely dedicated to becoming a full-time career artist and um, you know, earning your income from art, or you're already earning an income, but you wanna grow it and expand it into higher levels. If that's you, make the decision to master the tools that we have available right now. If you do, you'll get to a point like I have where you know I build a platform which is a business model around my art, which is six figure plus business. You know, it'll probably end up being multiple six figures in the next year or two. Um, I can show you how to do that if you want. Just get in contact and uh, I'll talk to you about some of the programs we have to help you do that. Um, but if you make the decision and master the tools, then it is definitely possible for you to do it. But don't let 2017, 2018, 2019 go by without fully embracing this because it's the greatest time in history right now. It may not be in the future, right? So get onto it now. Talk to you soon. Cheers.